Hi everyone, this is Messenger Murray Lane with a very long overdue message for you all. First, I just want to say, whoever is listening to this message today, this um, message is for you. Um, one of the main reasons why my messenger service has um, eased back quite a bit is because I have house guests staying with me. And I feel that my best messages come from me when I have complete solitude and I do not have to worry about someone walking into the room or sitting outside listening to what I have to say. I just don't like those conditions. And today I find myself with one of these rare moments where I have the house to myself. So I'm jumping on board to create this message for you. Um, having said that though, I am... Um, I'm not presented very well at the moment, so I'm going to put a, a array of my drawings, the um, some of the images that I have created over the past 12 months for you to enjoy, rather than looking at my um, my unmade um, face and unkept hair, because Sunday is the day I like to immerse myself completely in my creative side. So, um, and I'm also calling upon the John Holland Psychic Tarot cards today to generate this message. I've shuffled them extremely well. So as I said right at the very beginning, if you're listening to this, these words are for you. Um, and I'd love to know what's going on in your world at the moment because I feel that the build-up to this Sagittarius full moon last Tuesday, um, whilst it was a positive moon, full moons, especially as they're, they're coming in, do pull on our emotions somewhat and because we're human we forget about the the effect that the moon has on us and just habit has us going down that path of um, you know getting indulging in this heaviness and you know one day we're going to wake up and realize you know we have the power to create different things oh here we go and the first card i just glanced at is the state the sacral chakra so i'm feeling this is the second chakra it's to do with our um our instincts and our security. Um, I have to look up. I'm not that strong on my chakras. I know the colours, but you know what they mean. But anyway, this, you can look it up. The second chakra is wanting your attention. There's a little bit of imbalance going on there at the moment. And if you can focus on just wearing some yellow or gold, eating some of these beautiful golden yellow fruits um, and vegetables. Immersing yourself in sacral energy, I think that will help to rebalance because, um, yeah, we're just a little bit off kilter. Notice I said we're, because everything that I'm sharing with you also relates to me. So here's the first card today in our message, and it is, oh, the destiny card. How beautiful. So, um, are you fulfilling your destiny? That's the question I'd like to ask you. Are you on that path? Because if not, I think you're going to get some subtle hints um, over the coming weeks to put you back on that path and sometimes if we don't take those hints it could become a nudge or then it could become um, forces outside your control to help you get there so I think take note of the um, the signs that are going to appear to you in the coming days and weeks because there's a beautiful destiny that awaits you and let's see what the next card has to say oh Beautiful. I'm so glad I took the time to record this message for you. It's the card of hope. And this card always instills this beautiful sense of um, possibility. That, you know, you are the master of your, your destiny. You are the creator. And I think this is what the universe is wanting you to know today. That if you've been stuck in this little rut, that it's time to step up and step out and start pursuing what your heart's desires really are. And I find that statement really quite interesting because a lot of people don't know. You know, you hear a lot of us messengers say, you've got to follow your true heart's callings, but you're probably sitting there going, I really don't know what that is. Ask the universe for clarity under those conditions. If you don't know what it is, put it out there and say, please give me some clarity. I have been calling upon Archangel Michael and Gabriel and Raphael so often in the past few months and they deliver every time just ask them for guidance as you know by now you know angels can't assist us because we have free will so we have to ask the third card is partnerships and alliances now this card is all about you know joining together 
working in a group or, or with another person because there's power in two or more. But it's finding that right connection. So, but I feel that, you know, in the context of this message, it's spiritual partnerships, it's spiritual alliances. Ask for all of these energies to step in and to give you that, that support that you need to fulfill your destiny, which in turn will fill you with hope and joy. And I'm going to call upon one more card. Oh, here we go. The crown chakra. So the chakras are really also calling out to say, notice me, notice me. This one I can share all about the power of the crown. This is the one that sits right at the top of your head. Um, and it's all about opening to, you know, the universal flow, the in, um, intelligence of the divine, the intuition. It really is that inner knowing that once your crown chakra is certainly operating on, on full steam, so to speak, um, it's like you just have um, access to everything in the universe. You know all of those those things, you know, there's no no second guessing, there's absolutely no doubt. It's just a powerful thing to have open and to be in the flow of your crown chakra because you are in alignment with divine and all things universe. So thank you so much. Like I said, if you're listening to this, this is definitely meant for you. What a beautiful flow of cards. Look up um, what the sacral chakra means to you and what you can do to strengthen that because that was right at the very beginning. And also um, focus on opening up your crown chakra and loss. And whoever is listening to this right now who was suffering heartache and loss, um, one of you is, or perhaps many of you are, um, it's time to let that go. It's time to just bury some sort of virtual hole and just put that loss into the hole and say, I, um, I no longer need to carry this with me. I am a, um, a connection or I'm a soul of the universe and I have all the love and support that I need to, to move on. So, okay, this is me. I hope you enjoyed my art show. Um, I love doing my art. I know I like to, which is totally un, um, unlike me to want to share with as many people as possible. So, um, there you go. Lovely to speak to you again. And I'm hoping that, you know, my house... Um, becomes available so that I can do some more messages for you. So if there's a bit of a gap in between, you know that I still have my house guests. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye for now.